Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, welcome to I Should Have Bought It When I Saw It. Here at Fleming's Ultimate Garage, before we even get started talking about this incredible car, go ahead and hit the uh, uh, subscribe button below. And if you don't mind, give us a little like as well, and we'll make sure that uh, we get you as much information as possible. Plus, you get a lot of great stuff that's coming uh, before everybody else does. Anyway, as we talk about this incredible 63 Mercedes, you say to yourself, well, wow, that is a really beautiful car. And you're absolutely right. It is a beautiful car. But a lot of times, people don't know why they're beautiful cars. So let's take a minute. We're going to walk around. We're also going to look at the level of restoration, because when you're buying a car like this, these are what we call blue chip investments, meaning they continue to go up in value each year. And the reason they do is because when they're restored to this level, they cost way more to restore the car than you have to pay for it. And that's the way to buy the cars. And you say, well, how can people restore a car and you buy it for less than they pay for it? Well, they might restore the car. It's a passion. It's a love for them. And then they drive it for a little bit and they put just a few miles on it. And then you get the benefit of the little bit of usage and uh, you're ready to roll instead of waiting two, three years before you can even get to drive one, all right? So let's take a quick peek at paint. We're gonna look at chrome. Those are the things that make this car spectacular. And once we get inside the car, you're gonna be like, oh my God. And the next thing you know, we're gonna be working on turning this, this hold sign into the sold sign. Do a great job reflecting here. So what we like to do is we like to look at the ceiling and how clear you can see the rafters and the railings and the lights, things like that in there. This is porcelain white paint, clear coated, show waxed and detailed, right? And buff to a show shine. This is designed for you, if you wanted to, to go to uh, a German car show or go to a classic car show or go to a modern car show. You went to a muscle car event in this, you say, well, I don't really fit in there. Guaranteed 100%, people who love cars love cars. And when you see this car, look at the style that we're talking about here. This grill, the shell, that's what it's called, the shell, right? All handmade here. This was a very expensive car at the time. Keep in mind, it was 50% more than an SL of the same year. Those cars bring a lot of money. These cars here are obviously doing the same thing because they were almost handmade. This was, uh, they only sent 800 of these here. 800, right? They built millions of cars. Anyway, the driving lights, these badges are kind of cool. I just love everything about and the effort and detail that it went into to restore the car and get it to this level. All right, so a lot of people ask a question like, what does a D stand for? D is for Deutschland, that's uh, uh, Germany. The good news is they sell these in anything that you want, whether you want it your family crest, maybe you want it for the USA, maybe you want it for uh, any place in Europe. It's just a really, really nice piece, but I love to want to talk about stuff like this because when I see like the double stacked bumpers, again, people say to me, wow, that's a great looking car, but you don't know why it's a great looking car until you spend a couple of seconds doing this, right? Even the tag light situation is a beautiful piece right there. This piece, this, this styling piece, like a lot of thought was given into us. Polished tips here, right? Bumper guards to protect the bumper. This is a sh chrome shelf, right, as part of the bumper here. So you can see a lot of effort and thought was given into that, all right? Fit and finish is spectacular. So anyway, I wanted to show you in here because, first off, I want you to hear this. Listen to that. This is what you're getting. That is what made a Mercedes a Mercedes. All right, so come on in here real quick. So what I like to see a lot of times is, as, uh, hold on, there's a little piece of dust. Uh, I like to see a car cover show up in the car. And the reason I say that is because somebody's obviously garaging this car and then they're also covering in a car cover too. So they're double protecting this thing knowing that it really is their pride and joy. Look how beautiful the carpet is in here. All right, storage in there for uh, toolkit, 
and uh, any other things that you don't want rolling around. Beautiful spare tire cover. All the detail is what you're getting in a car like this and why these cars cost what they cost. The trunk kit alone costs thousands of dollars to make work like this. This is lined as well. Um, it's painted on the inside. It's just beautifully done. And when you close it, it sounds fabulous. All right, let's talk about show detail engine compartments. If you're gonna go to a show, you don't have to when you buy this car. You could just enjoy it if you wanted to. But the level, of sh the level that we're talking about is show quality, and that's why I wanted you to see this. So let's check this out for a second, okay? For instance, uh, here we're talking about some modern things on a car that a lot of cars did not have back in the 60s. This has disc brakes, okay? It has power steering. It has fuel injection. It has air conditioning. So many cars in 1963 had none of those items, right? Here we have cold air induction to make the most power that they could get at the time right and we look at the detail that's in here for instance like these polished pieces under the hood look so great down to even the Mercedes battery in the car this is the kind of car you should be thinking about when we're talking about getting a collector car and we're enjoying a really cool car the tags are all refinished here just the way they were from the factory and look how beautiful and shiny everything is, even underneath the hood and those details. Look at the chrome straps under there for support. Little detail stuff like that just makes such a big difference. What I want to talk about is why some cars are a little better than others. Listen to this for one second, okay? Because this takes a week to fix. Listen. This is 1963. We're almost in 2020 right now, right? We're almost in 2020 right now. We're heading to 60 years old for this car. And it is as nice as it was back in 1963. I wanted you to see that. That's why some cars are worth more than others because somebody spent that kind of time putting it into. When you get into the car and you close the door, that's what you hear. You don't hear the rattling of the window. You don't see uh, things shaking. You don't hear tinny sounds. This is quality. All right, so come join me in here, but I want to show you something real quick before we jump in. This right here is an option. So these are bucket seats. This is a bucket seat interior. So instead of it having the big bench seat right there with a flat back and flat here, this was an option back in the day. Look how beautiful this is. Beautifully done, all restored and all refinished. New window cranks and ashtrays and carpet. This right here, the boot. The cover for the convertible top, made of leather as well. Seat cover is leather. The special carpeting that you would get uh, uh, in these cars. So anyway, I get excited about it because I know, you know, we restore these cars too, and it takes so much time and so much money. So let's talk about why uh, these cars bring the kind of dollars they do. First off, it starts with style of the interior. Look how beautiful. We talked about the seating, but now let's look at the dash. All redone wood here, all restored wood, all of the chrome trim has been polished and replated, right? The steering wheel has been refinished. Full array of gauges, 140 mile hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM tack, and full gauges in here with oil pressure and water and things. Has the Becker uh, Europa uh, sound system in it from the factory back in the day. This is the air conditioning unit that would be here, and little stuff like these chrome vents that are just really, really nice touches. And as we look through here, the car is just a beautiful car. Keep in mind too, this is overdrive automatic, right? So it cruises on the highway. It has the air conditioning that we talked about, the power steering and the disc brakes. And not to mention, it feels pretty good just to wheel around in the car just like this. All right, so we close up the video on this spectacular restoration of a beautiful, iconic car. Listen, these were very expensive during their time and they've continued to rise. I'm in the way of beauty right now. This is a spectacular car. It drives as great as it looks, and it's got uh, just wonderful things about it, like we ran down with the air conditioning and all the, all the great things. But what I want to tell you is that when you drive this car, it just has a feeling. It's solid. It sounds good. It goes down the road beautifully, and it's exactly what you've been thinking about and looking for. That's why I wanted you to get a quick video of it, all right? So don't forget, uh, before to go, to make sure you hit on the uh, subscribe and like button down below. And uh, we'd love to hear some comments. I'd love to know if you've ridden one of these before, or maybe you had a friend that had one, or maybe some SL comments, some old Mercedes kind of school stuff. Lastly, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it, and we'll help you turn this into this.